Yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing that today, 70 odd years later, 73 years later, the memories are so fresh in your mind and so fresh in my mind. And people don't know about these things. They just don't know about them. On December 7th, I made up my mind I was going to fly fighter planes against the Japanese. I was 17 years old. And I was on Iwo Jima, eight square miles of land, eight square miles, 67,000 Marines fighting against 23,000 Japanese, 90,000 soldiers. And when I landed with my cockpit open, I smelled the smell of death, and it never went away from me. There were 21,000 bodies rotting in the sun, Japanese, and nearly 7,000 Marines. I flew with 16 guys who didn't come back in my squadron. Five guys were killed in training accidents in Hawaii, and 11 guys were killed in combat. Three of my wingmen were killed. Three of my wingmen. It's probably the most memorable and the most precious time of my life was to be with other guys who were protecting me and I was protecting them, fighting for my country. I don't regret one moment that I served in the war. The 30 years after, I can't talk about it. From 1945 to 1975, I was a basket case. I couldn't work, I couldn't do anything. I didn't speak to my family for 43 years about what I did. They knew two things about me. They knew I flew a P-51 over Japan, and they knew that I bailed out of a P-40. And I was asked to go to Japan in 1983. And I thought they were crazy because Japan was not a place I wanted to visit, and the Japanese were not human beings that I wanted to see. I came home and I told my wife I turned down a trip to go to Japan, and she pointed her finger around, Jerry, you never asked me if I wanted to go to Japan. So in October 19, <coughs> 1983, I went to Japan and I was blown away <coughs> by what I saw, what I felt. Robert was a senior at San Diego State, so we came home, we gave him a trip to Japan, six week homestay. And in 1984, he went there for one year to teach English. And now it's 2017, he never came back. He got married to a Japanese woman whose father was a kamikaze pilot with 500 guys. He told me he wanted to get married. And I said, what does her father say? The father wouldn't meet him. It took seven months for him or for her, Takako, to convince her father to come and meet my son. And the father didn't talk. And when he did talk, he asked my son five questions. How old is your father? 63. Was he in the war? Yes. What did he do? He was a pilot. What did he fly? P-51s. Where? Over Japan. And that ended the meeting. And he went home and said to his wife, make the wedding. And she went crazy ballistic, shouting at him. For 43 years you've been telling me how much you hate the Americans. And now you want our daughter to marry this guy, Gene, this American foreigner? And he said, yes. And she said, why? He said, any man that could fly a P-51 against the Japanese and live must be a brave man. I want the blood of that man to flow through the veins of our grandchildren. Oh, That's yeah. it.